Hey guys, RC here, back with Sim Airport, episode 17. So taking a look, I couldn't wait anymore. I, I was It's going to take a while to build up a million dollars. We really need more flights to start doing that. But what I was able to do is I was able to sneak in a small 90-tile uh, length runway, which is good for small and medium r airlines, and free up this air uh, for 240 length for bigger flights. What we're going to do is now we've got flights using both runways and they seem to be for the most part splitting up correctly. So let's slow it down to speed one and let's jump into our airlines. Now you can see we do not have any flights scheduled on these five airlines. We have reps with them. I may be speaking out of turn here. All right, and Super Alliance. We're going to give that to our CFO. Just so he can mess with them. Just to try to get them up, right? Okay. So what we want to do is we have to have eight, eight airlines. Now they actually... See, they don't have big flights, so I don't particularly want to go after them. So let's look only at extra large. All right, Aerostar, a 400 passenger flight. Let's scan some of these new ones, because these are new ones that have just opened up for us, right? So they're 747. And 380 are huge. So 747s, 380s, none of these approach that level. And I'm wondering if that is because of our runways. No, he's got a 747. All right, let's start off with AM flights. 777 is 400. So let's accept those, and we're going to put those on one airline, on one runway. And we're going to give them three hours. They're already getting three hours, aren't they? You know what? I think we're going to give them three and a half. Let's do that. All right, so now we're into the afternoon. We'll take another 777 there. Three and a half. And a 350 is 360. Let's go ahead and take that one. We'll stick him in there and we'll shave him down to three hours. And then our 777 in the evening, three and a half hours. And we have a ooh, 707, no. 767, that's only 250. 747, let's take that one. And we can just get him in there, and then we're going to stretch him out to three and a half hours. All right. Let's not add the second runway yet. We'll see how that goes. We'll do one day with that, one day with the next one. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. If it's not loud enough, let me know and I'll raise it back up. Now, these will not go into effect until tomorrow. All right, so... Let's see, we've got this going on. How are, how are our kiosk doing? 1680 there, 1200 there, 1440, and 40 bucks. This one has 1260. I've added it up there today. The other thing I have done, if you go into your settings right here under transport, 
You can set your retail to deliver more often. So if your shops are running out of materials and food and stuff, you can change that. Uh, garbage, light rail, everything can be changed. We've got a nice first classroom. This guy looks pretty happy. I tell you what, I'm going to put another set of bathrooms right here. Let's lay it out. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll add sinks. There. We'll add in the rest of the wall here. Type in for a door, and that will go in. How about we'll put two doors in here one there, one there. That'll be one big female restroom. And then I think what we'll do. is we will put in another wall here. And then we will figure out how to do this. All right, I think I'm gonna change this one up a little bit. So we will have a urinal there, a gap. We'll put four of those. And then we'll have sinks, which we will put We'll put four there and we'll add the rest of the wall in here and then for our door we'll put two doors right there and for our flooring how about tile do that one that one. We'll speed that up, let them get that knocked out. We'll have a few more bathrooms down here. I did add some more kitchen help. I thought I asked for, yeah. Oh, the chefs are the ones that make the deliveries as well. All right, you know what we need to do? I think I'm going to add in a little bit more storage here. We'll add in one more storage. All right, those are done. So we have a female restroom there and a male restroom there and that is zoned correctly probably would have been more realistic to put a wall down between the sinks but we'll pretend it's like just a waist high wall that the sinks are mounted to that works i am okay with that all right it's our new day so we hit, we did not hit our perfect op bonus yesterday. So what was that because of everything was fine except for that morning flight. And I think that was due to some construction problems. B1, I think that was due to the runway. So I'm not too worried about that. We've got lights. We've got... Uh, ILS we've got all the stuff hooked up there so they're ready to go this new flight starts at 6 a.m. and they will be coming down here and they are arriving in mass 
Oh, I do want to speed this up to 150. Speed that up to 150. Because this is where our people are coming out as well. So, but they're not backing up here at all. So I think that's fine. Security's not backing up. All right. Pause it real quick. Here is our first flight here. Oh, they do not have fuel, do they? Okay, so we need... We're going to buy... Uh, probably just better off setting that to recurring, but you got to watch the money, you know, so. All right, so they are boarded. They got in 19 minutes early. Their scheduled departure is 930. They are leaving two hours early. All right, so. That's working out so far. That's looking good. I wanted to run a taxiway here, but the building, I'd have to demolish some of that. Here comes our next super big flight. All right, let's take a look at him on pause. He's in 17 minutes early. We've got... Almost four hours right now. Three and a half hours to go. Let's see where his passengers are. All right, so some of them are just arriving into ticketing. Oh, I forgot to do that. Shoot. All right, this runway, sign to this ticketing zone. And then this gate we will assign while I'm thinking about it to that ticketing zone. Because, yeah, we, the whole point of having this second ticketing area is so we don't overload. All right, let's check these passengers again. All right, so everybody is now down in this ticketing area. Going through security. All right, the last one just cleared security with over two hours to go. So we might be able to scale those back to three hours. Now, you know, that is one of the options. You can try to condense as much as you can, which is one way to play. But also, you know... Keep them spaced out to alleviate any issues and problems. That's another way to play. And that's kind of the way I tend to play. All right, here comes our next one. All right, let's check him just on arriving. So he has gotten here a half hour early. Three and a half hours to go. All right, we do have people just coming in to the airport now. They're all coming into ticketing down here. Going through security. We do have a handful of people still coming through there. All right, let's pause it there. So they're all through security with two hours left to go. And they are taking off an hour and 40, 108 minutes early. All right, so let's go ahead and go into this. And we're going to drop these guys back to three hours. And really, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to cram anybody else in there, to be honest. But that's all right. And you. And we will, I guess I have to come back to the morning here. There we go. And we'll drop that down to three hours. Okay. 
So that's fine. <laughs> Somebody's up from their nap. I did learn uh, another little trick. There's a guy named Shum, S-H-U-M, that uh, I watched some of his videos, and uh, I found out, so, like, we can actually build a road that makes, like, a loop that goes in, you know, let's say from right here, drives in and makes a loop, and you can set pickups back here, and you could have them come out the door on the, at this end uh, if you wanted to, and then those buses come in here, and pick up off the main road to where they're not holding up traffic. So something to think about. Uh, where is my, oh, you know what I don't have here? Oh my goodness. I just realized, oh man, my light rail. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, you know what? We're gonna put you there. And we're going to put you there. We're going to put our crosswalk in here. Right to the drop-off area. And then we have our crosswalk. I forgot I had to build that light rail platform. What a dummy. I've been paying for rail to come, but they haven't uh, had anywhere to go. So you do have to build those. They're under light, uh, LRT, light rail uh, transport. And then what will happen is a lot of these people that are waiting for the bus, they'll cross over and get onto the platform and catch the bus, in, uh, the rail, instead of the bus. But the bus is keeping up pretty well. We do need them to finish this, and then we should start seeing people using it. All right, there's the first one. And there you go. There's people getting on it. We'll have pickups. We'll have drop-offs. And that will expand our capabilities immensely. Immensely. Okay. All right, we have baggage claim down here. All right. A lot of light rail waiting now. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. But, boy, they can pick them up in a hurry. And we should... Light rail is set up to pick up hourly. There you go. So one train an hour. But that's going to get people in and out much faster. You can see the buses have dried up for the most part. Okay. So we've got that other runway, right? Let's go into here. Let's check with arrow time. Let's negotiate with them. And we want... Three, three large planes. Nah, actually, let's just do two in the AM. All right. So they're only warm here. I'm going to slow it down while we do this. So I wonder if they're warm. Will they, will they accept that? All right, so they want one flight crew lounge, three offices, one large gate. Uh, I am going to say no cafes. I'll give them the conference room. Profit sharing, I'm going to put that to zero. Store profit share. Minimum load per flight. I don't know what that means, What that's what that's for. But they're very cold on this now, right? So, but then if we drop our runway fees, they're back up to warm. Let's send that. 
I mean, they were warm to begin with, so not sure. You gave them a good deal. All right, so they've accepted our offer. All right, so we have two here. All right, let's pause it because now we need to go in and look at these guys. All right, they need one flight crew, flight crew lounge and three offices. All right, so first off, let's give them some offices. Right here. We'll give them these two. And we'll give them this one. All right. So we'll assign that one to arrow time. That one to arrow time. And that one to arrow time. Good. We need airline detail. There we go. All right. We need a conference room. That's fine. So we've got one of those here. We'll give them the small one. All right. Now we also need a flight crew lounge, right? And they wanted a large gate. Now what do we have here? We've got, those are not large flights. Those are large for them. I'm not happy with that. All right, well, that's an extra large gate. Extra large, extra large. That's a large gate. All right, so A, A3. All right, so this is arrow time, A3. All right, so let's put him here. Morning, oh, requires a large gate. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna suck. Okay. Um, all right, so I may have just screwed myself. All right, let's see. Arrow star, arrow time. Arrow time, arrow time. They want a large gate. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to really have a choice here, am I? So we're going to go here. And here all right so I am going to I'm gonna have to give them this gate right here didn't I do that all right well it will not let me give them a bigger gate that is gonna kill me all right so We're going to do that. Now, does that kick out all of these other flights? I believe it does. All right. So, what we're going to do is we are. We're going to drop these guys down to the the new big gate, extra big gate, right? Those are our two arrow times that we just took. Now those are 150s. All right. Um Let me play around with this. Okay. So now we have assigned Aero Time Flight Crew Lounge to this lounge here. We opened up this little hall to get it big enough. Just squeeze it in this area. It's right outside their gate, right? On the floor that they need to go to. What we've done with the flights is we have moved all of their flights to that large gate. 
unfortunately, there are some gaps in here because we don't have a lot of gates done. I think I want to... I wonder. It's a large gate. Can I put that right here no i cannot you know why because can i put a large remote gate i can i think i can let's turn that right there we are going to build a road here They really don't pay attention to those, but what I want to do is I want to build a foundation from where? Hmm. I'm thinking. All right, we're going to build a foundation here. Okay. And then I'm going to have to build a remote bus stop right there. All right, um, we're going to build a small hangar right here. This is going to be R2, right? Okay, so now I want to build an escalator. Actually, you know what? No, we're, we're not going to build an escalator here. We're just going to build stairs. We'll have stairs up. This is the ground floor, right? Good. All right. So then we'll have a sliding door here and here. We will have a gate. We'll have three gate agents. All right. That'll go to there. Then we will have a foundation there. I'm going to dismantle those. And then we will dismantle those. And that. So people would come through this gate into here, down the stairs, into here. Yeah, and that way they're not affecting security in any way. So they're still having to go through security to get to this gate. All right, then back down. All right, we're going to hire three staff right yes then we will assign to one two three we will also assign that to this baggage depot and this we are going to add a apron bus that'll be for this gate here now what is your deal 
All right, assign to this bus pickup. Awesome. Assign to, all right. I didn't know if I could assign it to that bus. We're not gonna give them any fuel options, so that's fine. It's gonna be a remote gate. All right, so let's open, well, actually it's not, because what I wanna do now is all of these much smaller flights. Well, actually, I'm gonna bring all of these flights down here. Yeah, that sucks. That's not what I really wanted to do, but it gets it gets all of those other flights off of that new runway. And I wonder I'm going to go ahead and use I'm going to use that runway right there for standby. And we're going to use this gate for standby the rest of the night. So we have a nighttime, a midday, just in case there's any any issues. Um, so remove. All right, back to flights. Get out of that and try that again. Okay. There we go. All right, we'll move you guys up. I wonder, you know what I would rather do here? I would rather bring these smaller flights down there. And you know what, we can spread those out a little bit. And these flights can come back into here. Oh no, because they need a lot. God dog it. No, but that's right. Those want to be we want those at a small gate. Alright, we're gonna put those down in the big gate. We'll spread those out a little bit. Alright, golly. Alright, but that does free up now that third runway that new extra large runway. But I think Oh, and this assigned to this ticketing area because we don't want them having to leave the other ticketing area. Got to remember that. Where are those staff people? All right, let's put in... We had some vending machines. I've got one. So we are going to put those. Let's put those here. And then the food, I think we had one. We'll put that there. And then we'll get those hooked up. Boom. Should have probably paused that because now we lost a lot of money, but that's okay. All right, our people are down here. Let's go ahead and put some flooring in and let's put a few benches in. Let's do some threes here. Now we do have flights, yes? R2. And they should be in here. I want to make sure it runs right. All right, let's do some fuel real quick. All right, we'll do that. Now, I wonder if those flights will not start until tomorrow at this gate because of when I made the time change. 
Could be. Oh, who's in, uh, who's in B4? Oh, yeah, so we don't have anybody in B4 now, but they were because we had moved them around to juggle them. That's fine. All right, let's go in and look at the larger flights again, 747s or 380s, 787. I mean, that's still 300 passengers, but we want the big ones. We want 777, 380s, and 747s. All right, so that's an afternoon flight. I'm going to slow this down while I look around. All right. 747. That's a morning flight. No, nope, that's a nighttime flight. Okay. Everything here is smaller. All right, an Airbus 350 in the morning. Yeah. An Airbus 747 in the morning. All right, so let's put these in. Let's give them let's give them 240 and see how that works. All right, then we have an afternoon. All right, I need one more afternoon. How about another 747 there? And then we'll have an evening flight right here at 2.40. And then I need another PM flight. Let's go ahead and take Super Alliance because we really want to start building up these larger flights. And if I could get one more, ooh, a 787, 747, 380. No. 777, that's 400. Let's take that one. We'll put him down here. And then we need to extend him out in the morning. I think that's good. All right, so that'll get us some more flights tomorrow. And then what I think I'm going to have to do is instead of buying this parcel of land next, we'll buy this one and then we can extend our terminal out here and put in one or possibly two more runways. Now what I'm wondering is, is I would like to put a taxiway kind of cutting through here but then also continuing down for the deeper runways. So we may have to have these right here to go two levels underground and then come back up down here. Maybe. I don't know. That may be pushing it. That may be pushing it. All right, we have 65,000 liters. We're going in the right direction now. All right, well, let's go ahead and put a cut here. This went a little longer than I expected. My apologies. And uh, I am going to kind of let the days advance a little bit. I want to, I'll buy this. So when I come back next episode, this will be ours. And we'll go ahead and start laying out uh, terminal expansion, runway, uh, gate expansions, and everything else. Because I think in this one, we have the infrastructure to support it. Now, I will probably need to add 
ticketing capability. That's going to be the only thing. Possibly what we'll do is we'll set a new, maybe a new baggage thing on this end for these new runways down here would be my thought. But we'd have to run it here and then down into this area. And then what I could do is I could have that run this way and extend baggage claim as well and add more carousels down here, possibly. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be next episode, though. So hit that like button if you like what I'm doing. And if you want to see more of it, subscribe and hit that notification button so you make sure you don't miss any uploads of my daily content of various games. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.